Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss, how to override hash code method in Java. Moving ahead. Friends, hash code method is defined as native method in object class. Hash code method in object class has signature as, public native int hash code. This method in object class returns a hash code value for the object. It is provided to support hashing in collections framework. It provides support to collections such as hash map, hash table etc. So friends, what is the problem if we don't override hash code method? Let's move ahead, and create an employee class without overriding hash code method. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create an employee class with two instance variables such as name and age. Moving ahead. Number 2, override equals method in Java. Friends, you can watch my YouTube video, how to override equals method in Java. Moving ahead. Number 3, create getters and setters for name and age properties. Moving ahead. Let's create a test class by name hash code test. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create a main method. In the main method, create employee instance by name, employee 1. Set name and age to, Dinesh and 27. Moving ahead. Number 2, create a hash map, which takes key as employee type and value as string. Put employee 1 created above into hash map as key and any string value say employee. Moving ahead. Number 3, create a new employee instance by name employee 2. Set the values of employee 2 instance name and age equal to employee 1. It should be exact replica of employee 1. Moving ahead. Number 4, as employee 1 and employee 2 are equal object, get the employee 1 instance key value, by passing employee 2 as key in get method. As per our scenario and definition, it should print something as employee in hash map, employee. But it prints as employee in hash map, null. As shown in figure, this strange behavior is due to fact that we haven't overridden hash code method in employee. Without overriding hash code method, it creates new hash code for every new object created. Though, employee 1 and employee 2 have same contents. But still it printed null on the console. Moving ahead. Let's resolve above issue, by overriding hash code method in employee class. Let's discuss the overriding of hash code method in employee class point by point. Number 1, in overridden hash code method, create a final variable say prime having any value, say 31. Moving ahead. Number 2, create a int variable say result, having an initial val value say 1. Moving ahead. Number 3, create a new int value for result variable, based on age value. Here, multiplying prime and result and adding age into it, assigning it back to result. Moving ahead. Number 4, create new int value for result variable, based on hash value of name. Here, multiplying prime and result and adding 0 to it, if name is null. Or adding hash code value for name, if name is not null, finally, assigning it back to result. Lastly returning result as the hash code value. If we now run the program, we get the output as employee in hash map, employee. So the conclusion came out as the hash code method is defined in object class. With overriding hash code method, we can get hashing functionality for storing and retrieving custom objects into collections. So friends this is how we can override hash code method in Java. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, hash code method concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give 1 minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com